Hey y'all, welcome to Pamela's Bakery. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Mm. Right, let me get the phone out. Hey y'all, welcome to Pamela's Bakery. <laughs> So my wife just called and she's got both of the homeschool hustlers picked Reagan up from gymnastics and they are going to head down towards North Bridge Street. We're going to eat at uh, Fisher's, our favorite restaurant in Bedford, and we are going to head over to North Bridge Street and go to Bell Treasures and go to Needful Things and check out our booths and see what's been selling lately and fill a few things in. And as she called, I, I, I took a shortcut through this cemetery here and it always is a good reminder as i said in some of the other videos we're all going to end up here someday and they're all going to be selling our junk off at a yard sale someday so don't let that stuff be important more important than the people in your life hey everybody he's already done all right you've been helping sissy yeah, been helping been we sold the rock and sock and robots for a hundred bucks so that's good but we gotta replace it and put some other stuff in here all right, so you saw me buy, buy this ironing board today. I paid two bucks for it. And when I came in here to Bell, Bell Treasures, Miss Bell upstairs was kind enough to tell me that these prints are Queen of Stovall prints that are decoupaged onto this thing. Um, it's a local artist in Lynchburg. So we're going to put a little bit more on them. We're going to put around 25 bucks on that ironing board instead of like the 12 I was originally Just thinking. Hey, Reagan. Are you putting DVDs in? Yeah. Did you put them in at the last booth, Turner? Yeah. Yeah, how many did we sell this week? Two? Um, two DVDs? Is that how many empty spots there were? Yeah. Yeah, there's two in the, the other. No, there's three in the other booth. There's two in this. So that's three five. in that booth? Hey, I bought that thing today. Sold that cooler right there. Sold a bunch of Tupperware. And there's the old end man. bought those uh, yearbooks today too. We haven't sold an Inuman plush in a little while, a little beanie plush, and we're happy when anytime one of these things goes out, it's $12.81. This is kind of like our signature item in the store, so we've made quite a bit of money off of these guys. Not a lot at a time, but a little bit multiple times. All right, this is not exactly the time of year you sell umpire shirts, but you got to remember, you know, wherever you live, there's always somebody playing somewhere. So, you know, Arizona, this is the time to play baseball. So uh, it's also the yard sale season out there, starting anyways. So uh, this is brand new with tags. I believe it had a flaw on it somewhere. I have to remember and look at the listing, but um, it, it is brand new with tags, I think with some kind of defect, but it went for $17. Hey, y'all, welcome to Tom Figure. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Alright, let me get the phone out. Hey y'all, I'm Hey y'all. I feel like I'm short sitting in this chair. Hello everybody, just wanted to give you a quick update on the two booths. Now, if you're new to the show, we have two antique booths on North Bridge Street in Bedford at Needful Things and Bell Treasures. And we're kind of rookies at this, so had a lot of watchers that have been giving us some advice. Um, up to this point but we want to give you the first month we were in the booth our goal eventually is to make two hundred dollars um, for each booth and then maybe even expand to two more booths so that would give us you know eight hundred dollars a month and that to me would be worth it we're not there yet the first goal for the first month was to not lose money and we accomplished that so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bell Treasures and Blue Ridge Mama here is going to tell you a little bit about Needful Things. Needful Things. You want to go first? You want me to go first? I'll go. All right, she's going first. So the very first thing was not ours. It's my mom's. A shamrock bowl with some type of popular ceramic dish. We've sold lots of surprisingly Tupperware. Then we had Tupperware cup sales. Then we go into some DVDs. And I'll tell you, when you see me out there yard sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. When you see me out there yard sale and you see me picking up Tupperware, this is the reason I'm picking up Tupperware. I used to sell a bunch of Tupperware on eBay, but I kind of stopped because it's not, you know, you know, not big dollar items. So I still sell it from time to time and I sell the lids because they're easy and easy to store. 
but we're getting Tupperware dirt cheap and we're selling it not for big money but we're selling a bunch of it so go ahead sorry that's all right um so all of those were just one thing per day then we hit a day where we sold several things a dvd three bible books a halloween decoration four more books more tupperware then a cat which i'm assuming is a halloween decoration that we had out which the fall and halloween decorations did really good there um i did notice yesterday we sold a few halloween things at bell's as well um another tupperware pitcher my mom put some of the um, willow tree figures in there and those have sold pretty well this one's over 18 dollars two more dvds another halloween decoration another dvd Willow Tree Girl, and two glass pumpkins. <laughs> I think I went over that in, in another you video. Did. Yeah, so those were the hideous glass pumpkins. But they sold a metal wreath that was my mom's. Fidget spinners, two more fidget spinners, a book, a wooden crate. And I bought that one at a yard sale. If you look at uh, Daniel's first yard sale, I bought those for five bucks to use. And actually put 10 bucks on them hoping they wouldn't sell. I probably should have put 15 on them so we could actually use them. Pyrex? I don't know what that says. Pyrex jars. So jars. I bought three little jars in the, I think it was the very first yard sale video we did. Might be the second. Um, and I paid a dollar for all three of them and they sold for six. Another thing I've made fun of, the dream catchers. But I think they've maybe all but one have sold. A camera. More Tupperware. So, that camera was also from the uh, Raleigh yard sale that we bought a whole box, I think, for five bucks, and that one sold for nine. Tupperware pitcher, a Stanley a vintage tool, a Pyrex measuring cup, and these were the vintage, the glass ones. Turkey, I don't remember that. Oh, Halloween yeah. decoration. Yeah, Halloween turkey. Um, then we had four of the shaker style chairs with the high backs that are the woven bottoms and I had marked them pretty high to begin with around $40 and we're like you know what we need space so we marked them down to 18 a piece and they sold like that yeah, and we paid five dollars a piece for those at a yard sale so it's still a pretty good little profit about 50 bucks yeah but you see I see so many other booths that still have them and they're really expensive and they're just not selling um, three more Halloween decorations more Tupperware I had two little trees that looked spooky black and they were bendable that I had the Halloween decorations hanging on those sold with some more ornaments so that looks like it you know, a bird cage that was my mom's a metal bird cage books a little Vera Bradley just a purse that we had found it was really small and didn't sell for much on eBay so we sold it here Tupperware, Tupperware, <laughs> globe bookends, a tablecloth that was a vintage tablecloth, a jar of marbles for four bucks. So that Which, was if good. you remember, I bought those marbles for 50 cents at a yard sale. But we probably learned a lesson. I've seen marbles now that, I mean, they're crazy. We, they sold like immediately after you put them in there, I think. So I think maybe we'll, when we come across some marbles again, we might up the price a little bit. What did we see? Didn't one have $25? $25 on a jar, yeah. small jar. Um, a mason jar that had some lights that worked, electric lights. Um, a dress that was also my mom's. It was a kid's vintage dress. She wasn't even sure. She thought it could have been one she wore as a child, but she had two other sisters, so they kind of had some hand-me-downs. But that had a stain on it, and that sold, so I look for those, especially if it's smocked or has embroidery. Um, more Tupperware measuring cups and a Tupperware green vegetable keeper. And just those little measuring cups, I we got $6 for them. We could get about 10 on eBay, but after fees and shipping and doing the work, it's easier to sell that stuff on in, in the store. So what did you show them the check or tell them about the check? You can show them, I guess, because I, I blocked out the, <laughs> the information. Yeah. <laughs> the numbers, yeah. So we've got a nice check here for two eleven thirty four. All right, so that's after the booth rent for next month is paid, and that's after all of the fees to Needful Things, which is 10%. Plus um, the credit card plus fee. Plus the 3% on anything that's, that's that uses a credit card. So which was 5 a, bucks. 
So all we have to do from that 211.34 is subtract the cost of goods and we have the profit. So um, the cost of goods, I calculated in my mind, and this is not entirely accurate. It's probably on the high side, $54 um, from the things I could remember specifically. The things that we bundle together, the reality is a lot of that stuff we're getting for free, free. as a throw in at the end of a deal. So at $54, so we were making $157.34 profit in the one booth, which for the first month is really close to our goal of 200. Um, for not knowing what we're doing, I think we're doing okay. Um, I'm not going to go over everything from Bell Treasures because it's in an email here, but uh, let's just say that we've sold the heck out of those those stickers, those decals. We've probably sold 20, 25 of those at a buck a piece. We've sold um, quite a few albums that were her mother's, a few that were ours. We've sold DVDs. We've sold a cow creamer, the, um, the cathedral, what do you call them? Arches. Arches are probably decorative. our biggest sales. They are our biggest sales at 30 bucks a piece. Um, and we've had a few things. We showed a, sold a ladder for $17. Um, insulators were pretty. Yeah, we sold some insulators that I bought years ago. Um, we sold those for $5 a piece. I made sure that they were cheaper than any others that I saw throughout because we had so many. Yep, and there's a fine line. You don't want to tick off other people that by yeah. underselling them. So you either got to do one of two things. You got to come close to their price or you got to put it cheap enough that they can buy it and resell it if they have a specialty booth. Kind of like the flea market if you ever go there. They, they go in and vulture everything from everybody else and take it and sell it in their booth before anybody shows up. Uh, VT ornament, a carved dog that she bought. Um, Which was weird because there's two carved dogs. I thought they'd buy them as a set, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I did too. The whole pig. So the piggy bank we got on that yard sale with Daniel as well and bought that for a dollar. It sold for 10 So the total check we're going to get is $178.50. So we have to subtract. We haven't got it yet. We have to subtract uh, $45 for next month and cost of goods. So I came up with a total of about a $90 profit. And that's on the low side too. So we're not close to our $200 goal there, but it is our first month in there. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. We're about uh, roughly 250 bucks in the first month. So I think as we get better with this, uh, I know you're you're getting better at it for sure. She's doing most of the work, just <laughs> FYI. I'll tell you what, if you're going to open a booth, I will tell you that it is not worth the money if you calculate all the work that goes into opening the booth up. Now, once it's up, it hasn't been that big of, big of a problem, but setting it up and accumulating this stuff and preparing for it is a lot of work. Once you're in there, uh, I think we easily could go in twice a month, maybe three times a month and do a little bit of work and it'd be fine. Been so. trying once a week. We've been doing once a week first. so far. So. Yeah. And we'll shout out to Blue Ridge Granny for, yep. for her help. She's really helped with hauling stuff up and helping me even simple stuff like tie and tag so that it doesn't seem like much but it's a big help yep all right all right next job. thanks for joining <laughs> us see you next time turner does every every dog like a butt scratch <laughs> every dog, yeah. uh, i think yeah. they do they look at it look at that i saw two dogs out today yard sailing and they both turned around and wanted their butt scratched <laughs>